Hello and welcome. We are here live at the 49th Prix de Lausanne. And I'd love to present my co-host. I'm Cynthia Harvey. I'm currently the Artistic Director of American Ballet Theatre's Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis School. And this is my co-host, Mr. <laughs> Jason Beachy, the Rector of the Palooka Hochschule in Dresden. Great. Well, thank you very much, Cynthia, and welcome to our viewers. Absolutely. And this is so exciting. It's day one. I know. You can almost feel the uh, anticipation. It's not an angst or an anxiousness, but I feel there's anticipation. This is their second day here because yesterday they were all in attendance. They took a class mm -hmm. and I think it breaks the ice a little bit. Yeah, and I think for a lot of them, this is probably their first time abroad, first time in Switzerland, first yes. time any of us have traveled in a long time. I know, I'm happy to see you in three dimension. Yay. It's really nice. I not, know. We... Not the Zoom call. Exactly. <laughs> Yay. And I think they must be delighted also to be here. It's not just to be in class with all these wonderful teachers, but to experience a stage performance again. Well, I know it's been, it's been really challenging two years, and I'm sure everybody was wondering, would this happen live or not? And here we are. That's magnificent what the pre-team have done to get us to this place. Exactly. Um, just some statistics while we're in the middle of it all. 376 participants auditioned for the pre. Wow. From 36 countries, 39 countries, excuse me, 81 were selected and 70 are here with us today. There were a few dropouts at the last minute. Yeah. So today this is the a and B class ladies? Yes, so we're seeing here now, this is the warm-up class um, for all of the ladies. Um, they have a 45-minute warm-up, which we will be watching, and then they all get a chance to space and run their variation. It's an exciting day for them, for sure. So I'm uh, looking forward to their teacher is Claire Marie Osta, and their accompanist is... Martine Doré. Wonderful. And let's enjoy as we discover this year's ladies. Entendu, one surplié, arabesque, and close, et plié, écarté, second, et port de bras, and the one, and two, and three. Start, arabesque, here, one plié, and en quatrième, et plié, à la seconde, head with the leg, en dedans, one, and two. Et soutenu enveloppé et seconde arabesque here et change à la seconde and you go into your three arabesque arm and leg here quatrième à la seconde and the three suivi en dedans et et devant allonge Look front, good. Écarté, second with the head. Et suivi, port de bras. Arabesque et long. Bien, et change. Yes, side. En dedans, soutenu to the left et devant. Bien. Good. With the head also à la seconde. Et suivi with port de bras. Arabesque. Bien. Look in front. Good. Allez, long body. Yes. Side. And port de bras. Good. Very good. Thank you. Next one, I change. So then I'm... I'm not too far all the time. Préparation, port de bras here. And the one, and two, and cloche. Change the leg, and here, and cloche. Four à la seconde, one, and two, and three, and four. Et première, first, first, and change. Arabesque, and cloche. With the arm, and cloche. Four à la seconde, two, and three and four, and two here, and the third one you change, okay? So, quatrième, devant, cloche with your arm. Here, huh? 
bit low that we can enjoy your face. One and two, arabesque here. Four la seconde with the head. A one and two and three. And you close. A arabesque, reverse. Let's go. A. Et devant. Battement. Quatrième. Et four la seconde. Yes. And first. Reverse. Arabesque. And here. Bien. Very good. Et seconde. En dedans. Soutenu to the left. Et devant. Bien. And change. Et seconde. Good. Teaching this class is Claire Marie Osta. Since 2018, she has been the head of the dance department of the Royal Swedish Ballet. Um, before that, she ran the choreographic, um, uh, founded a choreographic project at mm -hmm. the Champs Elysees. Exactly. Theater, called LAAC LAC. Exactly. Uh, what a wonderful project to have started. And she's no stranger to the competition, you know, with the Paris Opera Ballet where she was in Etoile. Exactly. They had a concours every year in order for promotion. Exactly. I suspect that she will be able to put these dancers at ease and make them feel comfortable. Exactly, exactly. No one, she's been involved now also here at the Pre for a couple of years. She was on the Pre selection video committee. She's been coaching, teaching, giving them warm ups. So, no, she's got a lot of knowledge to give. She had a magnificent teacher who taught a whole generation of ballerinas at the Paris Opera. The Christine Boissard. Yes, exactly. She taught uh, Isabel Garan and uh, Sylvie Guillem yes. and Aurélie Dupont. Exactly. So uh, I think she understands the dance and she has a great pedagogue. Exactly. Yeah, no, and I'm looking forward as well to watching also the classes of Elizabeth Platel. Likewise. Who will be seeing later today also. I, th I, be I think yes. we're live streaming that today too. Yes, that's the girls' B, I believe, later on. Exactly. I don't think it's the whole group. I'd be surprised if it yeah. was. <laughs> We have so much to do in one day. Yeah. No, and I'm sure for all of the viewers, um, you're actually watching, these are all of the ladies this year. And this is the first class on the live streaming. So it's just a chance to get to know and see everybody. And then during the week, we'll be able to present more of the individuals. Exactly. Some of the girls, the youngest are 15 years old. Yep. And the oldest are 18 and 9 months or 11 months, up, exactly. to, up till just before 19 years old. So it's quite a range in yeah. years, um, almost four years apart. So yeah. it's, it's a big, uh, big range of students' ages. Time at the bar in the center when you are done with an exercise, don't over move, okay? That you keep the conversation, uh, even if you stay in a direction, but you don't Let's do rond de jambe now. We stand in first position. Et port de bras here. Plié, arrondi, à la seconde. Et rond de jambe one, and two, and three, and four, and with port de bras. And here, port de bras, rond. First, et passé, temps lié, come back with the upper body. En avant, battement, very low here, you see, 22 degrees. Arabesque, allongé, and change. And reverse en dedans, one and two and three and four, and five, six, here seven and eight, et temps lié, back, temps lié, front, cambré, come back. Arrondi, hi, raccourci, pointé. Assouplissement, penché en avant, relevé. Little port de bras, cambré, 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 cambré. Pointé, arabesque. Grand fondu, come back, cambré again. And here, we do a little arabesque, like a V, with this arm and the leg. And the body inside is very long. Ah, là, là, là. And then I will say, pas de bourré to the left. Four rond de jambes, four with a really curved upper body. Temps lié en avant, 
en ligne en arrière. Penchez en avant. Very low leg. Passez raccourci pointé. Everything en dedans. Penche en avant. Cambré. Penche en avant. Grand fondu. Hein. Et very low arabesque. And then I will say, pas de bourré tout à l'heure. Let's go. First position. Et. Et préparation. Rond de jambes. Two. Et with the nice. Et chasse est en lié. Long, long, long en avant. Et penché. Come back. Raccourci passé. Arabes. Et en dedans. Bien. And back. Up. Move the body. Much more. Cambré. Come back. Et cambré. Collègue de leg. Passé. Développé. Et assouplissement. Penche en avant. Relevé. Grand fondu. Quatrième. And now, a magic arabesque. Yes. Even more caring about your first arm in front. Yes, long toes behind. Et let's do pas de bourré. Préparation to the left. Et. And now, curve the body en avant. Bien. Et en ligné. Come back. Push. Take the leg and move the shoulder to go in arabes. En dedans. Down, side, up, side, et pli. Bien, et allez en avant. Cinquième relevé. Fondu et cambré. Bien, now take your time, like if you would have a drop of water going out of your fingers and out of your foot. Yes, so very soft neck en avant. Yes, higher the stomach. Et merci. Good. It was beautiful. A little advice for this arabesque when you are here. You have diff many stories that you can uh, express. With. And we're watching the warm-up class here on stage with Claire Marie Oster with all of the ladies. And so I think for the, all of the viewers and the family members, it's a chance to see their children, their, right. their classmates, Students. discover them. Exactly. Yes. Some of the teachers could not come. No. No, it's it's uh, quite a journey for a lot of them and an expense, of course, but yeah. it's so worth it when they get here and have m fantastic experiences. Yeah. No, and I think also for this year at the Pre, um, there's going to be a full program here on the live streaming on Arte Concert. And there will also be this year for the first time the Young Creator Award. That's right. Which last year they were only able to present their videos. Right. But this year for all of the viewers, we're actually going to see all of the five solos that the students have created from the partner schools, right. danced by five of their classmates. So I'm looking forward to also really discovering the work of these five young creators. It's very exciting, actually, to get that opportunity on such a platform as, as the Prix de Lausanne. 
And also, there are two pieces that are being done this year that are new to the pre for exactly. competitors that were done previous Last year. years. Yes. Yeah. So uh, there, it's the piece called Suppress mm -hmm. and another piece called Unravel. Yeah. And those are being danced by many of the young competitors today. Yeah. No, I think it's a great new creative aspect. So I think we're all looking forward to discovering. I think it's going to be quite exciting. We'll see the, the talent of tomorrow. Exactly. Isn't that exciting? And same here with the students. We get the opportunity firsthand to actually see the future of ballet yeah. and dance. Yeah. And I think also for the viewers, um, this year what is new, we will actually be profiling all of the candidates. So we'll actually be have, we've got interviews um, where we will present the candidates in their own voice. Oh, wonderful. I wasn't yeah. even aware of that. That's yep. news for me too. Um, new. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Violence. Hey. Bien. Yes, very low legs. Good. Equilibre. Détourné. Fini. Yes, very good. Uh, you will enjoy this week different method, different way of uh, placing the head, different tasks also, in the, but that's the dance. Huh? We move into different styles and um, values. So we do the same exercise, but now it will be in three and a la hauteur. So you might have to adjust because you are quite close to the, leg, to the bar. So here is second and coupe, demi-pointe and stay and down. Coupé directly à la seconde. Front here. Change. Front. Collect. Balance. And here and here and here and back. When you collect the foot here, you have to care about your upper body. Okay? I saw some mm, something that's... And then during the balance, you try to come back and swim and fly. No, you do it before you go relevé, so you are ready. Yes. Huh? Okay, so fond and uh, here, I want this energy. Huh? Not a very deep one. It's another goal, maybe. But today, that's the one. A. A second. Fond et relève. Stay. Go down. Good. Second, stay in front. Et quatrième with épaulement, collect et balance. Very nice. Reverse et fond. Et take some épaulement to have space with your long legs. And now, allez, épauler. Into your balance already. Détourner with the shoulder. Et fond, et front, good. Yes, you go flat when you open again. Susu, and now flat. Équilibre. Bien, et allez, tout de bas. Un petit peu d'épaulement, bien. And expressive hands, balance. Good. Good, very good. I will stay here for the frappe. We don't do a very long bar huh? because you have a long day and a long week. So let's do some frappe here, pointe à la seconde. Look at your foot here. And a one and two and three. Coupé, battement sur le coup de pied. Seven, eight. Little jump here. Et ballon, ballon, ballon. Ready, arabesque. Et frappe, et frappe, et frappe. Collègue, battu sur le coup de pied. Et, et here. Little jump for the landing. Et ballon, ballon, ballon. Restez. Plié et relevé, et plié et relevé. Attitude. 
Ah, fin de phrase. Et un grand bonjour de Montreux pour la 49e prix de Lausanne. On est en train de découvrir toute la candidate féminine qui fait un échauffement sur la scène avec Claire Marie Host. Et comme elle vient de dire, on fait, on fait, elle fait ça très très bien. Elle dit on fait un court bar juste pour s'échauffer, pour sentir la groupe et l'espace et pour se préparer pour une longue semaine. Cynthia Bienvenido au prix de Lausanne. Si acaba. Euh, de unirse, de no, nosotros estamos viendo la clase de clásica A y B con Clara Marie Asta y estamos muy contentos. Sí. Und für unser deutschsprachige Publikum auch eine ganz herzliche Willkommen und wir freuen uns auf diese ganze Woche und wir freuen uns ganz besonders, weil wir sind alle da. Wir sind live and it's just so great to see everybody here. I think everybody's a little bit sort of, I don't want to say nervous in a bad way, but it's just, it's just great to see everybody here live. It's fantastic. And it's, uh, you know, a real treat because I think a lot of us have been working isolated yeah. <laughs> and in our homes uh, and only recently having gotten back to classes. So to be able to see so many nationalities in one place, it's almost yeah. like being in the United Nations at yeah, one time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that, that's so what, that is so what the Prix is about, it's learning, great. growing. So they're going to have a great week of coaching and classes and meetings. So. It's interesting to see the different um, ways of moving, even from our perspective here in the wings, to see the, the Vaganova style or um, more Royal Academy of Dancing and, yeah. and to actually see how they adapt. And by the end of the week, the growth that they exactly. make. It's exciting, actually, as a viewer. Yeah, no, and, and I mean, we've got the best seats in the house the whole week. <laughs> I'm excited about that. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Other than the Arte concert people, exactly. who, the public who get to watch you also have good seats. <laughs> that will do the adage, huh? it's almost done. And you do, et devant, and de close, arabesque, and de close. Seconde, et rond, et rond, and close. Arabesque and change devant and change battement et rond and the en dedans you turn here quatrième change quatri arabesque here um, rond rond and close en reverse here devant and here seconde you are face à la barre and here you keep the an épaulement uh, because you need it okay so the en dehors it's here and the en dedans one and here, arabesque. Quatrième devant, uh, I don't want to see the underwear here. Uh, I want to see your upper body and the long line with the leg. Yes. Let's go. Et. Et quatrième. Change, arabesque. Battement, rond de jambes, good, et arabesque, quatrième, now, battement, rond de jambes en dedans, et turn, arabesque, good, et very nice, et feel the floor before, and now head is to the side, Good, et grand arabesque. And soft upper body. Battement seconde, en dedans. And develop arabesque and close. Good, very good. Very good, relax the leg and we go into the grand battement for the ending the bar. Like battement jeté, préparation here. And one. And two, and three, pique, change the leg, and here, et battement, pique, a little change here, one, à terre, en l'air, à terre, et pique, 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 and change, et reverse, here, battement, pique, arabesque, pique, à la seconde, battement à terre, et en l'air, 
here. Arabesque et seconde et devant and here. You are so many, so be careful. Just it's for you. Huh? You have time to show your flexibility. <laughs> Let's go. Et. Et devant. Un petit peu plus lent. Marche un petit peu plus lent. Et seconde. Pointé. Bien. Et battement devant. Et pique. Et good. Arabesque. Cloche piquée. Yes, be careful. Yes, second. And here. Bien. And never forget the port de bras. And turn. And one. Each other, please. Merci, seconde. Et here. Bien. Good. Yeah, I'm sorry. Next time we will do two groups. <laughs> okay. Uh, we leave the bar. So, thank you for la bar. Do we have? Yes, I'm sure we had some help. So if you need so water, take one minute. The bars and they'll carry on with the center. Yep. So we'll see the order of her center practice. It's a short class, so it yeah. will probably just not encompass everything that one normally does in a full class. Yeah. A lot of them are making their way out of this space so yeah. that they can move the bars. Yeah, but I think it's great today. For the viewers, we've got a full program today and we're gonna be watching after this warm-up class. They have a chance to space the variations. I think it's very important. You know, you get used to the space and a Absolutely. lot of them are dealing with jet lag and travels yeah. and you're out of your comfort zone being here. They get a few opportunities on the stage, which is fantastic really, mm. because I think after so long a period of time to actually get the, the footing on the, yep. we'll give them a lot of confidence, and I think it's very, very important for them. Uh, spacing is hugely important on a different size stage, lighting, all of that. Uh, I'm not sure whether they'll wear their costumes today or whether they'll be just in their practice clothes. Mm. Yet, uh, I think it's the freedom of knowing that you've had a moment on the stage. It exactly. Gives a great deal of confidence yeah. to a dancer. And, yeah, and how did you approach, like if you were on tour, performing, how would you prepare yourself for a new space? Or if, if this was you this in was the competition? Uh, I'd probably be a nervous wreck, but <laughs> <laughs> the thing was, Jason, I was thrown on so often on stage that I didn't usually get a stage call. Very, very seldom did I, but mm -hmm. uh, it's so beneficial. You know, um, that preparation, the staying calm and being methodical, I, for me, that was always the important thing, this, yeah. to do things in a nice order and to, to remain calm so that you feel prepared. Because part of the nerves is when you don't feel ready. Exactly. And I think they're ready. They're back yeah. on the center now. It looks like they're learning the next combinations. Exactly. No, I think it's great. And, you know, the jury actually gets the chance to observe them the whole week. So often you, you meet somebody at the beginning of the week and by the end of the week you've just seen a, they've taken corrections, they've learned, they've taken risk, they've explored contemporary. And with brand new teachers. I think yeah. the thing that uh, many of the students have said to me in the past were that the fact that they don't know the teachers and the classes, yeah. and this is their first time perhaps dealing with totally different uh, instructors, and they're anxious about that a tiny bit. But by the end of the week or even two or three days in, you can see the difference in their demeanor. Exactly. And um, and I always appreciate that because I would have felt the same, I'm pretty yeah. sure. No, and I think also, I mean, there's a, you know, Kathy's pulled together a great team this year for the pre. Absolutely. But I know also, this is this is nerve-wracking for a coach and a teacher when you're, you're teaching and coaching in front of the whole dance world with students that you don't normally work with. That's correct. I actually have been... You've I've, done it. I've done the coaching. <laughs> actually, I was just joking with someone yesterday that I have taught the classes at the pre, mm -hmm. I've coached at the pre, I've been president of the jury, mm -hmm. and now I'm 
speaking with you as a co-host. <laughs> the only thing I haven't done is the competition. So we're going to have a senior, senior, senior division next year. <laughs> For those like me, <laughs> that would be so scary. But then I could sympathize with the dancers very exactly. much. Exactly. No, it's great. So now let's discover now they're going to start their center practice. Here it comes. Yes, good. Maybe we do three lines. One, two, three, four, five, six. So come here. I want, yeah, can you, yeah, in between. Yes, we do a fourth line. Please, please. Yes, six. Here. Yeah, you see that there is more. Yes, exactly. And now step back. Good. Can you come here? We will change the line. Yes, and then open. Yes, good. Open. Yeah, center. Let's go. A. Good. A port de bras one. Here. Change. Port de bras. Couronne. Open. And collect. Bien. Open. Coupé. Pas de bourré. Bien. Et to the left. Couronne. Change. Et. Open. And en avant. Very nice. Et port de bras. Coupé, pas de bourré. Bien. Bien. Okay, so remember your place and we will change the line for the next exercise. Thank you, second group. Try to find a good place also, one, two, three. So really it's, it's a warm up first, so it's not the competition. Yeah, so you see you are so many here. I would be this place because I have space, I see everything. Yes, good choice. A. <laughs> Et port de bras, couronne, and change. Very good. Open. And now, en avant, look at the floor. Up. Et port de bras coupé. Pas de bourré. Very nice. And to the left. Good. Change. Take your arm. And now, look down before going down. Yes, nice. Et up. Coupé. Very good. Good. Thank you. Very, ni very nice. So first group. You can stay here to learn, but we, we move here. Yes, and we will do the um, first pirouette. Okay, because time is flying. So, et retire. Oh, and we need to <laughs> get used to the stage feeling. Et retire flat, plié, one pirouette, quatrième, two pirouettes, quatrième en diagonale, two pirouettes, cinquième. Et retire, et plie, et one pirouette here, et two pirouettes here, et two pirouettes, cinquième. Okay? And one and plie and one pirouette quatrième, two pirouettes diagonal, two pirouettes cinquième, and push and here. Okay, first group, you change the line. Run, 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 magic. A. Et retire flat. One. 
And two, cinquième, good. And one. Merci. Good, we will do another one on diagonal. Thank you, second group, same, you change the line. Et, et passe. Fifth, quatrième. Here, bien. Turn. Good. Retire. Cinquième, start. Start. Bien. Start. Good. Yes. Are you still a little bit too long in the preparation? Let's go on diagonal and we'll see how we manage for the different groups. And you do first time, tombé, pas de bourré, lots of pirouettes, quatrième. Second time, you have the other part of the bras, quatrième, pirouette, here. Third time, with two arms, here, pirouette en dehors. Et, I just pointé like this, plié, tour en dedans, et fini. Okay, first group, can I have first group here? Second group, you move into the wings, please. Of course, we will split, huh? but I want to see it. Yeah. Yes, so someone here, first line. Yes, exactly, here. It, it's not moving so much here. Yes. Good, and you will do after, okay? Et pointé et tombé. Pirouette. Bien. Good. One more time. Two arms. Take, some, take your space. Yes. Good. Come here. Second group. Bien. Bien ici. Yes, good. Good. Come here. Bien. Voilà. And you wait. Maybe you wait for the next one. So take your space. Good. Come here. And run. Bien. Keep the foot in front till the end. Good. Bien. Et merci. First group to the left. A five, six, seven, and eight. Et tombé. Bien. Yes, come here, please. Et en lié. And uh, one. Yes. Good. Bien. Come here, come here. Et pointé croisé. Et tombé. Keep the music. Actually, right now they're doing pirouettes, and pirouettes is the opportunity to get on your leg. I can see a lot of them falling backwards a little bit because I think they're hesitant, and uh, with lights, you tend to fall back anyway. Yeah. 
know, and I think also it's a very different feeling when you're in a studio with a mirror in front of you. Yes. And when you're on stage with this black void in front of you, it's hard to find something to spot. Exactly. Uh, I haven't been on the stage for a bit in this theater, so I don't know what there is to spot out there, but usually there's an exit sign. Oh, yes. And some light. So yeah. hopefully they're getting in the feel for the stage now and getting up on those legs. Yeah. Jump all together, so take a place, or you will jump into each other. We have 10 minutes, so if you, yeah, move, move up, move up. You will, you, it very easy step. Yeah, take some space, very good. Four changements de pied, and one, and two, and three, and four, échappé. No. And one, and two, and three, soubresaut. One, and two, and three, soubresaut. Three, échappé. And stay. And one, and two, and three, soubresaut. And one, and two, and three, soubresaut. Three, échappé. Et. Good, échappe. Bien. Thank you. Okay, I show the exercise and then we place ourselves. Assemble, assemble, assemble sous bressaut. Et tombe, et tombe, tombe, pas de bourré. Assemble, assemble, assemble sous bressaut. Two season and left. Assemble, assemble, assemble sous bressaut. Tombe, coupe, coupe, tombe, pas de bourré. Assemble, assemble, assemble sous bressaut. And two season. Uh, first group, but the ones that uh, should be in front, please. Come here. First group. And we change the line from before. Please move up. Yes, take some, do like this. Do like this. Yeah, turn. Like the babies. Allez. Yes. Good. Okay. A. Assemble, 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 soubresaut. And take, and take. Tombez pas de bourré. Assemble. Two season and to the left and here and here. Tombe pas de bourré. Bien. Et season. Merci. Very good. Five, six, seven, eight. Assemble. Good. Tombe, tombe. Bien. Ouvre un petit peu. Et two season. Only two. Assemble. Soubresaut. Et tombe. Tombe. Bien. Okay, very good. Put on your point shoes, please. Oui, déjà que une heure, c'est court. On a perdu bien dix minutes euh, pour se mettre en place. And they're at the point in the class where Claire Marie has just asked them to put their point shoes on. So they've had a nice, easy, simple bar just to feel the space, get used to the lighting, and now they're putting their shoes on. That's right. They've just finished jumping as well. So they've gotten yeah. their little toes all warmed up and ready to go. Yeah. And uh, the next point will be some exercises. And then I think the class will be soon finished because it's nearing the 45-minute exactly. time zone. Yeah. And then they get to practice on stage. Exactly. No, but I think it's great that they get a chance to get a feel for the space. And I think we're seeing more and more normally all of the classes here at the pre, the full classes, they do all of the center on point. That's correct. And how do you prefer to train? I think it depends on the shoes. When you have a brand new pair of shoes, to put them on, there's thickness underneath the the mm -hmm. bottom of your foot. So as you stand, it gets a little uneven and a little yeah. bit difficult in those intrinsic muscles. Exactly. Uh, have to be used in, right. in between your toes. Um, if the shoes have been worn in a little bit, it's a bit more easy. But mm -hmm. they also have to break in their shoes. And this is one of the few times that they can. Uh, they're not being judged right now. So I think it's important that they understand that, you know, 
they need to do what they need to do for themselves at this exactly. point. Exactly. Yeah. No, and I think it's interesting today. There's so many different types of point shoes and new materials are being used. That's correct. And I think very different training. I've seen some teachers, um, they might do bar on point and then take the shoes off for the center or they wear them up until the jumping. I think there's many, many different approaches. I know. I think, uh, well, I've always enjoyed keeping my flat shoes on for the bar yeah. to feel really feel the feet. Exactly. And then in the center, uh, putting on the shoes. But that was just my own preference. I think, yeah. uh, you know, they're now doing medical studies as to what is important and what is the best and beneficial for the student. Exactly. No, and I think it's a, it's a beautiful art form. And I think there's a, a huge evolution lately in point work. I'm seeing much more focus on the articulation of the feet of really rolling up and rolling down. Yes. And most importantly, that you don't hear the shoes. That would be... <laughs> that would be ideal. Ideal. Yeah. Yeah, there is a, a big effort to um, disguise the rise, as exactly. I call it, so that we don't see a, a big elevation in terms of their body, their head movement. However, I think to gain strength, you need to use your toes in a certain way. Exactly. So this was a very fast turnaround. They put their shoes on very quickly. Yeah. Here they are in the center again. Exactly. No, well, let's have a look. Their first exercise on point on stage. Here we go. Good. Come here. A. A sharp. A soft neck. Prioritize the port de bras. Bien croisé and turn, change, and three. Bien to the left and one. Bien. Good. Thank you. Okay. Second group. Yes, go back a little bit. Not the first line, but in between. A. Last one to do some pirouettes and you do like this. Epi ike e ballone, epi ike e ballone, e pa a de bourre, e one pirouette quatrième. Two pirouettes quatrième, relevé, plié. And two pirouettes pointé and ready. Epi ike e tant de pointé, epi ike ballone, e pa a de bourre, and one quatrième. Two pirouettes relevé, two pirouettes, et c'est pas carré. Mais c'est pas grave. Deux minutes, ok, so first group. Et puis, ike et ballonné, et puis, ike et ballonné, et pas de bourré. One pirouette, two pirouettes relève, two pirouettes. Two pirouettes, and we do like this. Two pirouettes en dedans, and stop. Ok, I do with you. I know that we need to finish, so I'm sorry, it will be messy. Hey. Stop, stop. Okay, one more time. Et puis, Ike et ballonné bien. Pas de bourré. One, quatrième. Two pirouettes, quatrième relève. Two pirouettes, and here. Pointé. Merci. OK, second group. Et run out. You have your space. Et... Yes, gently place the upper body. Good. Merci. 
Okay, we have to finish. So come back, everyone. Take a place. We do reverence, so we need some space. Yeah, use the space. Every space is the best space as long as you have some space. Yeah, no, we can't finish like this. No. Yeah. Come, move, open the arms. Yes, turn. Yeah, so takes exactly very good. Okay. And then we do all together. And to the side. And down. Side. And couronne. Yeah. And up. And smile, you are in Montreux, Prix de Lausanne. Et rond de jambes, de révérence. Et merci. Et fini. OK, thank you for today. Thank you very much. Merci. Merci. Merci, Claire Mariosta. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, bravo, you look really wonderful. I'm so happy to see you here at the Prix de Lausanne 2022. How do you feel? Good, you look good. I love your smiles. <laughs> yes, be careful, uh, keep your distances, uh, sanitize your hands, but uh, I'm sure we'll have a great week and the jury is so excited to see you. I just saw them before and make sure you drink a lot of water. Find your balance, project towards the audience. Don't look too far down. Keep really your eyes and presence. Yes, and have a great week. I'm so happy to see you here. Thank you. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Hi Kathy. Jason. Hello. So happy, Hello. So happy to see you. Come over here. Yeah. Stand here. So great to see <laughs> you. Great to see you. Yay. Well done. You. We have here um, Catherine Bradney, the artistic and executive director of the Prix de Lausanne. And we're just impressed so much by what you've done to accomplish this Prix, especially. Last year's was enough of a challenge, but I think the fact that you've got us here, we're very impressed. Oh, thank you. And I we know there have been challenges, but... Uh, yes, it's been challenging, like for everybody, the whole world. And um, I'm so glad that uh, Switzerland let us do this, authorize this event, a professional event. And mm -hmm. uh, so the candidates are here, and we have dancers on stage, and we have teachers, the best teachers and coaches in the world, mm -hmm. and you two commenting. <laughs> so... <laughs> We try our best, and I think we're all so excited with the whole Young Creator Award. Mm -hmm. Discover oh, yes. them. Definitely. Mm. They are five choreographers, young choreographers between 15 and 19 years old, and they've worked on their students who are also young dancers. And they will be rehearsing all day, all this week, and we'll mm -hmm. be judged, and we'll see who the two winners are on Saturday. Yeah. It's very exciting, and it's an, a wonderful creative opportunity for young people who, especially after the last couple of years, been kind of holed up uh, to be able to express their creativity on this platform is just amazing, and uh, congratulations to uh, you for thinking yeah. of this. And uh, thank really you. Well done. I'm really happy with this project. Yeah. yeah. No, and I think also, you know, for you and the whole team of the Prix de Lausanne to actually be able that we're all here live is really incredible. Yes. So. Uh, yeah. Yes. Very impressive. <laughs> and I, I know we always talk about the Prix. I'd love to, your personal opinion as Kathy, uh -huh. how would you describe potential? Well, potential, I would say, as I just told the jury, uh, a 15 year old is not a professional dancer. That dancer is not ready to be hired yet. So we have to see that that 15 year old will have the potential to become a professional dancer. And so it's something we, you really have to see inside a dancer. Yeah. yeah, well, I think it's great. We're so excited to discover them all during the course of the whole week, Definitely. along with the viewers and the jury, and we will let you carry on with the day. <laughs> going to go see the jury now. <laughs> Thank you. Great. We'll find you again. Okay. We'll talk to you see later. You later. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> and we have a La Baya Dare. Ah, merci. <laughs>
10 we're watching here, the run through. So this is the candidate's first chance to actually place their variation on stage. And this we had just watched, number 102, Lucia Abril Marcu Marcucci, Marcucci from Argentina. Yes, absolutely. She did the Awakening of Flora. And I think there are about 10 girls doing that solo. I always find it interesting, the, the solos they choose. And exactly. For what reasons. So I'm curious to see. We also have right now 103, who is, yeah. I can't quite see it from here. Maya Weisinger Braun from Australia. OK, so she's also choose, chosen the Awakening of Flora, which has music by Drigo and uh, is based on the Greco-Roman myth of Flora, the goddess of the flowers. Uh, it's a, from a one-act ballet by Marius Petipa, and the libretto was actually by Petipa and Lev Ivanov. Good to know. Let's discover her. It's nice to sort of discover them, discovering the space. And, you know, they've, they've invested so much, them, their coaches, their teachers, their family to prepare. So it's great that they're here. No, very nice qualities. <laughs> it's OK. <laughs> it's beautiful. So now we're going to see number 105, Manon Baranger. And Manon, is nationality is from France, but she she's Training in Melbourne. Training in, in Australia. Yes, absolutely. And she's also doing the Awakening of Flora. Um, I didn't mention that uh, later on, um, all of these dancers do a contemporary variation as well. Mm. So, it's, <clears throat> excuse me, it's not only their classical that they get judged on and marked. They exactly. will be marked on their contemporaries. Exactly.
Also, nice interpretation. I mean, this is only the first day. It's just their spacing, but you really I do know. see beautiful work and qualities. I'm impressed by their confidence, to be honest. Yeah. Because I know I wouldn't have had that confidence on the first day. Exactly. It takes me time. Yep. And you can also hear there is some applaudisments coming from the audience. And actually, you are, if you're in the area, if you're nearby, there's a lot of activities that you can actually come and watch live during the course of the week from the auditorium. That's correct. It's a beautiful venue here, the Stravinsky Auditorium here in Montreux. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, we should encourage people to come when they can. Yes. And serve these wonderful young dancers. Yeah. It's exciting yeah. to be here as a witness to their potential. Yeah. And just now taking the stage is number 106, Yasemin Kayab Kayabai from Turkey, a student at the Zurich Dance Academy. Yes. And she's also chosen an awakening, the Awakening of Flora. That's correct. So yet another. There are quite a few. And I think it's one of those solos that's not that uh, familiar to the pre. I think it's only been two or three years that it's exactly. been going. Uh, last the last year, uh, live in 2020, the ballerina Eva Arbuckle, Eva Arbuckle yeah. uh, used this variation and won. Yeah. And I think it's encouraging to the younger dancers to actually try this solo as well for the same reason, because it's uh, lyrical and it, it shows off artistry. So yeah, no, you can really interpret that. this solo. Correct. It's a, quite a beautiful dance. Thank you. 
And we've just discovered candidate number 108, Eva Mahanjak from Australia. Correct. She did the Lilac Fairy variation. And yes, she's uh, the one before her also did Lilac Fairy. So exactly. a couple of them have chosen the Lilac Fairy from The Sleeping Beauty to music by Tchaikovsky. Uh, it's a beautiful solo and also shows off extensions and pirouettes. and. Exactly. You can show many different qualities. Yes, so All yeah. the facets of a dancer. Yeah. <laughs>
And we've just seen two variations. We saw number 110, Ale Ostrat from Norway. Correct. She did the Gulnara va variation. Yes. Uh, it's interesting to me that the little version changes. Some mm. of them do slightly different versions. So I always like to say it's derived from Petipa. Exactly. <laughs> no, a ni nice dancer. I remember I haven't seen so many candidates from Norway, but I remember Gina Storm Jensen. I remember. Who's now having a beautiful career, career at the Royal Ballet. Exactly, it's beautiful to see. And a few years back, I remember another girl who went on to the Norwegian National Ballet at one point. So, uh, yeah, this is the school of the Norwegian Ballet and, and schools in Norway are actually coming up and, and, well, they've been around for a long time yeah. and doing beautiful work. Yeah. So. Uh, Scandinavia. We'll give a little shout out to Scandinavia. Yeah. And we also saw number 111, Lily Sophia Dashwood from Australia. Yes, Lily Sophia danced the Awakening uh, of Flora solo. She's from Australia, from the Jane Moore Academy of Ballet. Yeah, so I think once again, there's a strong group from Australia this year. Yes, Australian dancers dance big, generally. Yeah, I they like have attack that. energy. It's oh, good. good. And now we're actually watching 112. Correct. Luciana Sagioro. Sagioro? Sagoro. Sagioro, yes. I'm going to guess. <laughs> From yes. the Petit Dance School of Dance in Brazil.
And we've just seen two um, candidates do the first girl's variation from the pas de trois from, from uh, Paquita. Paquita. And first up was number 113, Amelia So from Australia. Correct. And then it was Nicole Liu. Yes, number 114 from the United States. Correct, from the Morning Star Dance Academy. No, I think it's funny. I mean, everything goes in order of their age from the youngest. And it's funny, that's why you do see two of this, three of this. Just depends on the choice it's of the variation. It's very interesting that the younger students choose certain solos that are required. We are, we are given the solos to choose. Mm -hmm. But that it seems like all in a row you'll see one variation and then another variation all in exactly. a row. Exactly. So, yeah, now we're seeing a different variation. We're hearing the La Bayadere, what I call the Cabriol variation. Exactly. Uh, and this is another girl from America, Sydney Upchurch. She's candidate number 115. And Sydney is from um, Cary Ballet Conservatory. Yes.
we've just watched uh, two variations. We saw 116 mm -hmm. candidate uh, Natalie Henry, uh, who's from the UK. Mm -hmm. She's registered as an independent, and she did mm -hmm. the Lilac Fairy from the Sleeping Beauty. And then we've seen, uh, I hope I don't mess up her name too much, Hiwan Moon mm -hmm. from South Korea, and she did the Gulnara variation from mm -hmm. Le Corsair. Yep. And uh, now we are listening to the La Bayadere music. This is the first solo from La Bayadere, The Shades. It's and quite a hard one, and the tempo of this is very, very quick. Yeah, and this, yeah, and this yeah. is number 118, Madison Taberham from the UK. Yes, she's quite a tall girl to be doing such a quick variation, so this is nice for her. It shows a different side of her. I think all the dancers do these solos for different reasons. Mm -hmm. Some want to show a whole other side of themselves. Others do things that feel comfortable. So I think the challenge is yeah. really to be balanced in these competitions, don't you think? Yes, exactly. I agree totally. And it's great over the course of the week to see them also in classical and contemporary and how they really, I think it's so important, how they learn exactly. applying corrections open to new types of training. So I'll be very curious to hear the corrections given by the coaches to see if there's any change in their work. Exactly. And next up is number 119, Ha Min Park, also from South Korea. And there's this year a strong group, as we've been seeing over the years, from South Korea. Correct, and she will be doing the Awakening of Flora uh, once again, and that's with music by Ricardo Drigo and choreographed. <laughs> Thank you. 
Spray the air. And we've just been watching number 120, Si Hyun Kim, also a strong candidate from South Korea. Correct. She did the Paquita Girls variation, the first mm -hmm. solo from the Pas de Trois. And now we have 121, which who is Maho Shiraga from Japan. Yep. And she's dancing the Awakening of Flora. Yeah. Oh, I think it's so exciting this first day, just getting our very, very first impressions, first contact, seeing where they're from and how they are. And, and actually how they're reacting even to the pressures of, of the beginnings of the week, um, how they pace themselves. Uh, we had one young lady who took a little tumble, but she's fine. Want everybody to know she's okay. These yeah. things happen. I mean, I was notorious for falling. <laughs> it used to be maybe too much energy. Mm -hmm. and you end up making a slip. But it, it's not a technical thing. Sometimes you hit a place on the stage that is unfortunate, <laughs> and down yep. you go. But exactly. thankfully, she's fine. Yeah. <laughs>
And we've just seen the first run through from Michelle Lin, number 122 from the United States, a student at the City Ballet San Francisco School. That's absolutely nice correct. Work. And next we have Saela Rivera Martinez from the Sarasota Cuban Ballet School. And she's also dancing the Awakening of Flora, as did uh, Michelle before her. Exactly. No, it's always fascinating to see different nuances, different touches, different you know, qualities that they wish to highlight. I think it's also good for the public to be able to look for the differences in mm. some of the arms, the port de bras we call it, um, and maybe differences in how they do their turns, mm -hmm. uh, what they think they're looking for in a public. Uh, I look for usually some fluidity in this mm -hmm. kind of a solo, mm -hmm. but there's different things that they can hang on to and perhaps uh, decide who for them or what aspects for them make a beautiful dancer. Exactly. And then actually following this candidate will be number 125, Jacqueline Lane from the United okay. States, from the Peninsula School of Performing Arts. And that will be the final young lady in Group A that we'll be watching this morning. Today, that's Today. this morning. And then we will be moving on to another space. Exactly. We're so fortunate. We get to watch the <laughs> men's contemporary, the men's B. Exactly. Dance. So again, we are uh, here in Montreux uh, at the 49th Prix de Lausanne. Just delighted to be here with you, Jason. <laughs> I'm happy to have Cynthia here. <laughs>
Great. And that was our final candidate from That's the Group right. A. Yes. There were 22 girls mm -hmm. in the Group A ca category today. Yeah. Um, we will now have an hour mm -hmm. without our activities, and we will be going to then watch at 11.45. Exactly. Uh, Montreux time, the contemporary dance of the Group B boys. Exactly. So for all of the viewers, um, you will actually get a, a view of the class from Claire Marie Oster from 2020 with the ladies. And then that's, this gives us an hour to move to the studio when we will have our first chance to meet this year's men. So on se retrouve dans une heure pour le contemporain garçon, groupe B. Uh, et de l'entretemps, c'est une heure de cours de Claire Marie Oster de 2020 avec les mademoiselles. À bientôt. Perfect. And welcome back. So for all of the viewers who have just been enjoying the class of Claire Marie Oster from 2020, we are now live and these are the Group B men. So Cynthia, here we are. Bienvenido al Prix de Lausanne. Si acaba de unirse a nosotros ahora, estamos viendo la clase contemporánea de los chicos B. Great. And so this is the teacher Armando Braswell, who danced for many years in the Basel Ballet, and he has a, his own center in Basel. And he's just explaining to the men here, as of course, I think in contemporary, probably more than ballet, there's so many different styles. If you're doing floor work or release or Gaga or a Horton, Horton Graham Cunningham. That's right. Armando trained first at the LaGuardia High in New York, and okay. then he went on to Juilliard. He likes to say, I'm a Juilliard brat. Um, <laughs> but I think they trained in almost every element of contemporary dance, so he's very versatile and versed. Like you said, he has his own art center, the Armando, the Braswell Art Center in um, Basel now, mm -hmm. which uh, allows dancers from all sorts of body types to take, take and train, so it's not an elite place of mm -hmm. training. So uh, yeah, he's extremely experienced. He's got great energy. I hope he puts these boys at ease, these young men, I should say, they're yeah. not boys. And uh, we will, we're privileged to have this best seat in the house. Oh, I know, <laughs> you know, we've got the best seats. No, and I think he's, you know, especially in contemporary, they, they have a very different um, background in contemporary. Some of the contestants do a lot of contemporary. Some candidates have done little, but I think the jury here really places a great importance on how did they learn and grow right. and were they curious and open? And, you know, the improvement shows over a period of time. So today they'll probably be a bit more cautious. Yeah. And then they improve as the week progresses. Yeah. So I think I'm excited to watch them. Exactly. Aren't enjoying your time here because you're focused on winning. Do you know what I mean? And then a week goes by and you're just as sad as you were on Monday. So I just, I want to give you this chance now, today, to in start enjoying it from now. It doesn't matter what happened before. If you fell in your double tour, if you fell out of your pirouette, doesn't matter. What matters is now you walk into this room and it's a different time. Yeah? And I want you guys to take this chance and to take the risk to maybe Dance like you've never danced before. I know that's dramatic, but I think it's possible. Do you understand? Yes. Good. We have to be, do our best to keep distance. So I made a dance. It's called the COVID dance. Are you ready for the COVID dance? It goes like this. Can everyone do this dance and go? Okay, and relax. Minimum this distance, yeah? If you hit someone, that means you're too close, okay? We're gonna start today from this side, and we're gonna go from here to there, and then we're gonna go from there to here, yeah? We start with improvisation. I know that's scary, so I'm gonna help you. You go from head to toe. You have to keep moving, but the things you have to move, you can go from head to toe, whatever that means to you. Yeah, whatever that means to you. Yeah, 
butt from head to toe. And you keep moving. Yeah, so try not to stop. Yeah, don't go too fast. Yeah, take your time. You can do whatever you want. You can do hip hop, you can do tap, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, tap at the pre. <laughs> yeah, but you have to go from point A to point B. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, can we start? Wait, first of all, did we say hello to Paul? Hey, Paul! Okay, so we have a live musician, so that means that you are judged heavily on your musicality, yeah? Because we have a live musician. If it was a CD, it would be different. Then we're like, oh, whatever, we have a CD. Like. But he's there playing with you. So if you're off the music, you're really off the music. Because he's looking at you. You make sure you're looking at him, all right? So you're together. Come on this side. Three lines, keep the distance. We have the first line here, we're 406. You're leading. Tell me your name again. Dorion. Dorion. Okay. 407. Okay, 414. Step it out. All right, Paul, take us away to another place. And go. Group, go. Yes. Next group, go. Next group, go. This is nice, man. Next group, go. Nice, 416. Yes, Paul. Hey, not bad. Not bad at all. Looks quite good, actually. No one's too shy, which is the worst part. Normally you have a shy one who's like, mm. yeah, so this was good, not bad. I would like to see some more level changes. A lot of you basically were like this the whole time. It would be nice to see some changes from you guys, some more risk. You know, more risky things would be nice. Um, also, I think you guys can drop your hips a little more. Everything's up here, so you basically walked across. Yeah? So we have to change our levels. Um, can you move something else? A lot of you are like this, huh? 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 Woo! Yeah? I wonder if there's anything else you can move. Yeah, is there any part of your body else you can move? That's the point of this improv. So when we go back, you go head to toe. I think some of you went head, hand, knee. What, what happened to all the stuff in between? What happened to all the stuff in between? It can be more detail. Yeah, not eh, uh, da. It's a bit too, yeah? So we have to break it up more. Maybe you can take more time in your fingers, for example, or your elbows. Maybe your elbows can go directly to your knees. You know, there's more possibility. When you do this, though, you got to keep dancing. Remember what I told you? No student. Yeah, you got to be dancer. I should be like, oh. So we're just watching now the first contemporary class for the group B Men. And Armando has chosen to start with an improvisation. I think that's probably difficult for the young dancers to begin with improv. It would be for me. Uh, 
you know, to start with something that's kind of unknown. It's even harder. So kudos to them for right, doing yeah. as well as they're doing. Hats off for them to going for it. We've only seen them go across the floor once, and now they're having a second chance. Right. But it's nice to discover their that they're just not afraid. Yes, no inhibitions. Exactly. It's the best way to be yeah. in these and, situations. Yeah. And you can see that some have trained longer than others in contemporary. Um, when you look at the candidate book, we have this information in front of us. Yeah. Some have had seven years of contemporary, and some have had as few as three or two Exactly. Years. So it's a big variance. Yeah. But nice to discover the men in Group B in movement. Yes. Yes. Yes, Paul. Not bad, guys. You really did take the correction. The levels are looking good. Um, I don't know if I can say this, but that was much better than the girls. Is that allowed? That was better than the girls. Because you guys took more risks somehow. There was much more floor work and stuff. You know what's missing, though? The dance element. So like, I'm dancing when I improvise. Every movement I do, I'm dancing. Some of you are not dancing. So you do a move, it's not dancing. You're not dancing. And then I'm like, what are you doing? I want to go to you and go, what are you doing? Yeah. You have to dance. She'd be like, ah, oh, sick, wow. Oh, ah. Not like, yeah? Do you know what I mean? So maybe you should slow down. Maybe you're doing too much. Uh, yeah, less. What about pose? Stillness is also a thing, yeah? Stillness. We need more of this. This is also a thing, yeah? Could also be... Mm. Doesn't always have to be produce, 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 yeah? That's what students do. Produce, 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 yeah? Now I want you to explore. That's a little different. So maybe you don't know. That's important. Maybe they don't know what they're going to do. And that's okay but don't just do something. Do you know what I mean? If you don't know, wait until you know. Okay, now I know. Yeah, but don't just do something. Yeah, we try it again? All right, come on, three lines. Ain't no line there, ain't no line there. And take your time, yes. Take your time. Next group, take your time. Next group, yes, boys, this is nice. Use your focus. Use your focus. That's nice, 408. Keep going, boys, yes. good.
Okay, 418. You had your solo. That was really good, though. That was good. I don't mind you doing the solo when it's good. Right? That was quite nice. Hey, improv is okay for you. I think you'll be okay. I think you'll live. <laughs> yeah? Not so bad. I will say one thing. Um, uh, I learned from William Forsyth, actually, was like, when you improvise, try not to do everything frontal. Try also to change it so that sometimes my whole vision is there, and then it can be there, 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 there. It doesn't always have to be ancient Egypt. Everything's for the live camera. Yeah? Maybe sometimes just take that up and play in your backspace more. Yeah? Instead of always doing everything to the front. That will change your improv huge. Yeah? But that's not only here and there. There's also there and there. So it could be, my whole improv could be for that, even. You know, this whole thing here. It doesn't only have to be for the live camera. Et on est en train de regarder le cours contemporain d'Armando Braswell. Elle part de, de l'art de l'improvisation. C'est de plus en plus présent dans les processus chorégraphiques de notre époque. Um, et c'est intéressant de voir comment les jeunes ils ont adapté. Ils ont, même au début du cours, c'est lancé dans l'impro. I was just saying it's amazing to just see the men have courage. Absolutely. To jump Absolutely. right into an improv. And he's giving them instruction on uh, different ways of doing the improv, that they don't have to face the camera the whole time, yep. that they can face different directions, uh, yeah. which is valuable advice, I think, because people get aware of being looked at from the front all exactly. the time. Um, what, what kind of uh, improv are you aware of, or contemporary dance are you aware of that sure. you could talk about? Sure. Well, I think the, the qualities that we look for, I mean, today, there, I find it there's a huge range of contemporary techniques. You know, you can, you can study Graham, Cunningham, Limon, Horton. Um, then you can go into release technique. Right. I think Gaga is incredibly interesting. Yeah. I think Gaga is an, an incredible chance to discover your own way of moving. Yeah. Um, and I think more and more teachers are integrating uh, somatic practices, yoga, breathing exercises. Yes. Even Tai Chi, I've seen uh, movements of the Tai Chi yeah. into these kind of yeah. uh, classes. Exactly, very holistic. And w what I think is very interesting today, those are the same qualities we need in ballet. Absolutely. I, I think the classical dancers get confused. They think they have to be upright when and maybe in the old days they had a corset and it was boned and they couldn't move their bodies so much, except their body weight was very much more forward. But now I think we need to incorporate some more physical physicality and dynamism into our classical work. Uh, I, I sometimes look for this when I'm judging a competition or as I'm teaching, I try to get them to do more physicality. Yeah, exactly, using their breath through the movement, yes. volume, you know, different, a range of dynamics and actually dancing from the heart. And, and not forgetting your hands, because I think dancers forget their hands when they're doing contemporary and they either make them limp or they do ballet hands, as I call it. And it's a, you have to feel the energy through your palms, but you don't necessarily have to make a position. Um, and that gets dif difficult when you're a ballet dancer trained mostly in ballet. Yep. <laughs> That was like tomorrow. Can we try again? Ready? Uh. One more time. Are you sure you're ready? Because normally you're coming after, and you have to be at the same time. Are you sure? Ah, did you get that? Did they get that? Good. This is how ready you have to be. Not five years later. Yeah? You have to be the same. Yeah? The same. So, please, no one can follow this. Yeah? You have to try to have the group. Yeah? Doesn't mean you have to be slow. Are you ready to follow me? Are you ready? Exactly. So we can pull each other. That was a bit late, 405, but it's okay. I got it on camera. Yeah. 
We can be, you can make people fast, but you have to bring them with you. Yeah? We just have to try. Um, the girls didn't do it so good the first time because they weren't following. Yeah? It's always a shock. So I just want to warn you. Yeah? You need the warning. So try your best to be exactly the same. Can we try? All right. Paul, take us away. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, man. That was really bad. He started, and then next week, UK came with the shoulder. This is really bad. Okay? One more time. Excuse me, Paul. Excuse me. Okay. Und. Paul. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. Beautiful. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a one. Go four or five. Seven, eight, one. small clap only a small clap because it was kind of a mess what do you think how do you say mess in korean that was a mess right we have to be more together um one of the things you want to think about the purpose of this combo me and paul were talking about not only is it hard to lead it's hard to follow i was a professional dancer for many years and most of the time i was in a group and I was a soloist. So I think it's important to know that when you come to competitions. So we're watching the men in group B. And I think this year, this is, I find it very interesting at the pre, this year there's a completely almost even number of men and women and junior and seniors. I think some years there's a, um, a, a bigger group in the older or the younger. Are you noticing any trends these days? In, I wouldn't say trends, but I know for the pre, there's 18 young gentlemen here in this uh, category. In the junior men, there are 10 mm -hmm. only. There's still more females. Um, yeah. There's 22 in the A group of the ladies and 23 in the B group of ladies. Right. So, but it's still under 25, which is exactly which is quite good. Yeah. Um, I think. Can you do it Ma male dancers have become more prevalent. 
mm -hmm. I'm happy to say and happy to see. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you see a lot more than in the past. Yes, absolutely, and of a great standard. So mm. that's a pleasure all the time now. Exactly. Yeah, and are you seeing, how would you characterize, like, are you seeing in the men these days new qualities, different? Do we look for different things in a male dancer today? I, I'm not sure I'm looking for different things, particularly um, as a, a school director, but I do see um, a more balanced, uh, the, the men are be able, able to touch their feminine side, mm -hmm. uh, so they're not this kind of macho male strutting about. Uh, there's a, an ability to take the softer tone of mm -hmm. qualities as well. So I would say they're more versatile than they exactly. ever have been before. That's my opinion. Yeah. What about you? Yeah. I agree, and I think it's the same for the ladies. Yeah. Ladies nowadays, you need to be really athletic and have power, power. and jump. Yes. And no, I think it's becoming more, I would say, gender neutral, which Almost. is great. So, yeah. More individual. That's very good. Very good qualities to have. <laughs> Adaptability. Exactly. Yeah. You need to hold it together. The curtain is up. If you're not sure, be not sure in that moment and get back together as soon as you can. I want professionalism. No babies here. Oh, five minutes, two months. Yeah? I was a young male dancer as well. Yeah, so we're gonna try harder. Yeah, we try this one more time. And I want real dedication, men. I mean it. Eyes focus. Don't look blank. It's a bit blank. Yeah? Focus your eyes and move your bodies. The whole time, I want you to look good as well. That's right, I said it. You also have to look good. I don't care if you do it, you do it. We all could do it. I could get the whole group doing it. It's not, it's not that hard. But are you dancing? Are you at the pre? I don't know. Yeah? We try one more time, we're gonna start from there. You make a mistake here and there, that's okay. You make another mistake, that could be fine. If you make another mistake, my mood is changing, yeah? Because it shows that you have to have more strength, more will, yeah? We try one more time, boys. 414, you leading the way? Paul, change us totally. Yeah, they need to wake up, the boys. All right, here we go. Five, a six, and a seven, and a eight, and a one. Seven, and a eight, and a one. Get it together, boys, it's a mess. Eight and one. Move slower, boys, help each other out. Seven, and a eight, and a one. It's you, 416. Eight and a one. Seven and a eight and a one. Eight one. Oh, floor. Girls didn't do that. Eight and a one. One. Eight and one. Come on, boys, get it together. Yes. One. Follow me, up. Just kidding. 
<laughs> not bad, not bad. Hey, that was better. The joke is, is that when you turn around, nobody can see anything, <laughs> right? So that's allowed. You can look. That was a little bit better. I think you guys are still trying to impress me with your improvisation. So you're like, ooh, tuck up, ooh, tuck up, ooh. And I, I wish you would impress me with how good you are of a leader. I said all that? <laughs> You're adding, I swear. Um, yeah, because when I took over, I was like, I want to impress everybody with how much we can be together. You see, that's what's important to me in this moment. How together I can have the whole group. When everyone sees me, they're going to say, Armando had the group together. And as you've just seen, there's an army of translators here. Yeah, I think the public doesn't realize that the foreign dancers have people who are translating all the corrections. So there's quite a lot of noise coming from all directions at the yep. same time. Uh, so we have here in this group, I think there's some um, Chinese, Korean, and Japanese translators. Yep. Mm -hmm. And sometimes there's been translators for the Brazilian and Portuguese students exactly. in the past. So it's hard to focus on the exact thing you're trying to listen to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> who do I listen to? Yep. So, but uh, it's such an invaluable service that they provide, and yeah. uh, I'm sure that the dancers are grateful to have this information. Oh, yeah. No, I think, they're, you know, they're very young. They're away from home. It's Everything is new. Um, so, no, uh, shout out to all of the translators Absolutely. because they volunteer their time for the whole week. So thank you to all of the translators. Absolutely. Um, the other thing. As you can see, some of the translators, in fact, all the translators in this building are wearing masks. And some of the students have been given that option of wearing a mask. Uh, it's up to them because they're all tested prior to the day, yeah. as well as the two of us, yeah. before we begin our day. So we know whether we're negative or positive. Right. Uh, and we wouldn't be here if we were positive. So that goes for everybody in the building at the moment. Exactly. Yeah, it's just about trying to be, have the group energy. This is important. But your improv is not bad, so there's that. All right, come on, drink water. Get some water. Come back in a good mood. They're looking good. Now we're on the water break live. Live water break. I drink this brand. <laughs> what brand do you drink? <laughs> okay, not bad. Not bad. We're going to go into my other portion. We have to make a combination, right? I'm going to make a combination with you. The goal is to get a few of these, yeah? The one I want to work on today is the one you inspire, yeah? So that means that I'm going to ask you guys to give some movement. And I want you to challenge me as a choreographer. I'm a very famous choreographer. And I need a challenge. So every move you give me, you're going to challenge me. And you don't want it to be easy for me. Yeah? So when you do this, that's easy for me. If you do this, that's easy for me. I, I, I do this all the time. I want you to move something and to try something that doesn't fit. If someone goes here and you go there, you know, or Anything else, move a part that you don't normally move, but try to stay away from things you normally do. Is that okay? Can we risk that? Does everybody else understand me? Because we only have one translator here. Everybody else understands? Okay, good. All right. 
Um, I think we're going to start with 406. Yes, and 415 you can come forward to. Yes, 404 and 405. 411, you've been in the back for too long. Let's come forward. Yes, this is going to be nice. So we're going to go like this. Let's do one here. You're good. Can I have you here? That's good. Behind him. Back. Yes, behind him. Yes, back, back, back. Yes, back, 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 back. Behind him. It's you. Yeah? New line. Boys. Yes, both, yeah. Okay. Everyone step back. Yes. Okay. How do you say move? Umziga. Umziga. Anything. Yeah. Yes. Go. One, two. Oh! One, two, three, four. Ooh, I'm glad I started with you. Yeah, one, two. One more time. One, two, three, four. Can I see that? Six, seven, eight. One, okay. One more time. He snakes, grabs his shoulder, Pushes away, and then, oh, you added a port de bras. Okay, so here, port de bras wrapping around there. Oh, port de bras, port de bras down. Did you get all that? That's my best move. Sakti, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. Yes. Can I see? Oh, so, how many counts is that? One, two, three, four. Maybe. One, two, three, four. Let's do it. I want a bit faster. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Don't get wild, everybody. Yeah, maybe we could just go one, two, three, three, four. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. That's more clean. We're here. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Bet you can't do that again. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Five, six, seven, eight. Could we make it contemporary by going, Five, six, seven. So you come up only in the rise. Yes, eight. Where are you from? Uh, Norway. Norway. Oh, cool. OK. I like Norway. Yes? <laughs> so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I thought I saw a passe. Can we not? What else can we do besides passe? It's OK, I'll wait. <laughs> Maybe we can cross the leg? Yes. Ooh, point that foot. Lord. OK, wait, there's some ballet things I like, <laughs> like pointed feet. Yeah, so we try to point the feet. Yes. Yeah. Can I see it? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. I think we need to go five, six, seven. So. Five, six, chest, seven, down, eight. Five, six, chest, seven, down, eight. Not, yeah, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, 402. Yes. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Yes. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, no, I think it's interesting here as the young men, they're generating the material themselves. Ex it's excellent for them, actually, because then the movement is not so advanced that they are so unfamiliar with it 
they're creating their own movements, as you say, and then from there, they're creating the enchaînement, as it were. Mm -hmm. um, I'm noticing that a lot of them are still upright in their sternum, and it's going to take them time to learn to move more internally mm. than just arms on the outside. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, no, and I think I'm really curious to see the Young Creator Award where the students from the partner schools, they've created the five solos. I'm really curious to see what their interests are in movement and where they will take dance forwards. Yes, exactly, because it's not their own movement, it's movement they've learned. So that's yeah. a very different thing from what they're doing in this room, for example, exactly. at the moment. So it's exciting, it's all, uh, it's all for the future. We all have yeah. more to look forward to during our visit here in Montreux exactly. for the Prix de Lausanne. Three, step four. One more time. One, two. Ah, that's cool. He did one, two. Then maybe we could brush it. Four. Yes. That's cool. Let me see. And one, two, and brush. Four. When you brush, let it all go and take the step. Yes, four, one. Yes. How do you say good? Swaya. Swaya. Yeah? Swaya. We try it again? Oh, everything. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Yes. There's a lot of emotion. A lot of emotion. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, you'll do well if you keep doing that. Yeah? One more time from the beginning. I think I just want to be clear. I think it's one, two. So one, two. And I think this is three. And this is four. So one, two, three, four. Yes. And then five, six, seven, eight. You know what I do that I like better? I go back attitude into a twisted passe. That's better, because this is a bit too difficult. Yes. That's it. Yeah, I want all of that. Remember? Yes. And then one, one, two, brush. No, so one, two, drop, brush, step. Yes, four or five. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't land, turned out. Can you really take a lunge so deep that it doesn't even matter how you land? You're just so grateful you didn't fall? Yeah, that would be great. Yes. Could be bigger, four or five. You can't be the tallest person in here with the smallest lunge. Can I see? Go! Thank you. I prefer you fall, really. How do you say fall? Ah, uh, Japanese? Korean. Korean. How do you say? Oh, that's too hard. That's too hard. That's too hard. That's too hard. I'll stay in my lane. No, no, no. That's too hard. Fall. Yeah? And who's Japanese? Oh, you're all in the same line almost. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Good, good. When you guys don't understand, you have to say. Don't just stand there and smile, OK? Thank you. Don't stand there and smile. You have to say, OK? Um, from the top, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One more time with Paul. Five, six, seven, and an eight, and a one. Four. Eight. Four. Yes. Yes, man. You look good. Make me look good. Best combo I ever made. Yeah? Let's see what we got. Oh, sorry. Go 415. 
That's eight. One. Oh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Let's reverse. So we're here. And one, two, three, four. Okay, I like the level change. Can I see that? One, two. You're in the split. Well, kind of. One, two, and then three, four. I like that. I think go. Yes, 408. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So can we add that? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. From the top, there's only one beginning. <laughs> five and a six and a seven and a eight and a one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make me look good. Not bad. Remember what I said about dancing? Do you or don't you? Yeah, now is when it needs to come in. If you do it correctly, that's only one point. The other 99 points are for dancers. That's reserved for dancers. So if you do correctly, they mark down one. One. Good. Very good. No mistakes. 99% is if you dance good or not. This is a dance competition. I just want to throw that back on the table. So when I look at you, I should say, I enjoy your dancing. I don't want to look at you and say, I'd rather go to McDonald's. Yeah? So you can't just do it and then want a prize for getting it done. That's not what we're here for. I want to be touched. Goosebumps. Tears. Yeah? I want it all. Emotion. Yeah? One thing I can help you with is your focus. When you dance, if you already have your focus, this does so much to what you're doing. When it's front, it's front. But when it's not, it needs to be wherever you are. Yeah, not just like in your, I call it the shutters. You put the shutters on. No one can see you. I can see you. We all can see you. Even if you don't look at me, I can still see you. Yeah? So don't put on the shutter. Open your eyes and focus. Yeah? Where you're going in these combos. This is important. Yeah? Okay, can we do it one more time and we go on? Oh, wait, am I in line? What time is we done? Okay, good, thank God. Ready? Five and a six and a seven and a eight and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Oh, hey! We have a winner. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we can all go home. <laughs> so I like this. Can we add this one? Yes. So seven, eight, one. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes? Can we go from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Yeah, from here. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. Yes, I love those ALE turns. Love that. One more time. From the beginning. Five, six, seven, and an eight, and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a one, two, three, four. All right, boys. Well, the boys are good. They are good. Not bad. All right.
How do you finish? Which leg? That's hard. <laughs> C'est intéressant de voir la structure de son cours parce qu'en contemporain, on peut commencer un cours par terre avec du travail au sol. On peut commencer un cours avec du yoga, avec du release. Il y a aussi des cours contemporains qui suivent. On fait des pliés, des tendus au milieu et après on passe sur les diagonales. Mais il y a vraiment toute une gamme de, de possibilités. I think it's, I mean, there's so many different approaches in contemporary. You can start a class, you know, on the spot. You can start with floor work. Um, and here he's actually chosen that the, the candidates themselves are building the material. So I think there's a huge range of approaches. And I think it's a misconception that a lot of students feel like contemporary is easier than the classical work, and it's so not true because there's a greater physicality in some ways because there are level changes in the contemporary work. Their center of gravity is a bit lower, and they have to, to use the levels in dance much, much more than they do in ballet, unless you're doing like a bend. Exactly. Forward. That doesn't happen so often in a tutu. Yeah. So I think that this is part of... Uh, the differences in the contemporary to the classical work is the level changes and the center of gravity being that much lower. Exactly. No, and I think as we're seeing more and more today, the repertoire of the companies includes more and more. Yes. A mix of con con contemporary and classical. Yes, I agree. Again, bringing us back to the creative uh, the choreographers yeah. that are coming, we're going to get to see that later in the week. Exactly. So I'm looking forward to that so much. Yeah. Can it be four? Okay, three, four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe eight, one. Yeah, eight, one. I think that's more realistic. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Yes, that works. Can we all do from here? Three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, no, no. I think it's shoulder present, take it back, reach. Yes, Cynthia, yes. Cynthia's right. Cynthia's right. Scoop and engage your back. Let that lead head is last. Yes, 408. You're looking good in the back. That's always good. And remember what I said about focus? What? Huh? Ah. Ooh. Yes. Hmm. Focus. Too much.com. Remember what I said about energy? No, also delicacy sometimes is the name of the game. Yeah, it's not how hard you punch. Sometimes it's where, right? So maybe this is a delicate moment. Yeah, maybe this is a delicate moment. Can we go from the beginning? Front line to the back. Uh-oh, now you lost your leaders. They made it. Fresh batch. Five and a six and a seven and a eight and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. One, two, three, four. Oh, oh, oh. Choreographer. <laughs> one, two. I like that. One, two, three, four. It's kind of pretty, but I'll take it. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Yeah? So how we connect that? What do we finish? 
Da Schlag. Can we do here? And can we come through the middle? More contemporary? Yeah, exactly. And then from there, maybe you can have the shoulder. Shoulder. Yes, just to be more contemporary. Yes. So from here, can I see everyone there? Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. No, I want to go faster. One, two. Can we try? One, two. And then more? Three, four. OK. Say three. And t maybe step forward, four. Yes. Yes. Careful. Boop. Yeah? One, two, three, four. Lunge. Exactly. Can you be more ugly, maybe? Yes. 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 I love drama. I'm from Brooklyn. Can we try it again? From here. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight. Et on va vous présenter cinq de nos candidats cette année. C'est une nouveauté cette année que chaque candidat a eu la chance de se présenter eux-mêmes. So Cynthia, we're now going to show something new this year. We're actually going to, we've allowed the candidates to actually present themselves. So we can have a look now for our viewers to meet a little bit closer up the first five candidates. Would that be of this contemporary yeah. group? Oh, so of the men, how or of exciting. The, I think of ge in general. Oh, in general, how yeah. exciting, wonderful. Oh, I would like to have a rerun of all of that so I can yeah. listen as well. Well, let's have a look. Hello, this is Rain. When I heard of being selected, I thought I was dreaming. Thank you, Flix Lozan, for this great opportunity. Hi, my name is Michael Levine. I'm 15 years old and I'm from the United States. I'm so excited to have been selected as a Prito Lozan 2022 candidate and I can't wait to see everybody in Switzerland. I always love watching the videos from the past editions, and I feel very honored to have this opportunity to work with incredible teachers and coaches and to meet the other candidates. See you there. Hi, my name is Naya Dobrota. I'm 17 years old, and I'm currently studying in the National Conservatory for Music and Dance here in Paris. Thank you. Should we go from the top? Yeah? All right, Paul, let's shake him up. Five and a six and a seven and a eight and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, five, six, seven, eight. Nice, not bad. Okay, I have a confession. I keep saying that they did it better than the girls, but that's not true. The girls did it good but you are further. Yeah, the girls have four, eight. They did good. We have more, yeah? So we're making progress, but it's not about quantity. It's so about as quality. we're seeing here in the class, um, they're really being asked to participate, to create, to generate the material, almost like a, like a miniature choreographic process. Yeah, so it could be more like a workshop. Um, they're using improv as well as their own uh, comfortable movements for them, which actually gets them over their fears, I think, very quickly. And exactly. that's a good thing. Yeah. And if I was to ask you, Cynthia, uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> in your career as a dancer, how was it for you to work with a choreographer or did you ever, were you ever asked to generate material or participate or? I 
have to say that when I was dancing, which was now so long ago, I can barely remember, <laughs> I didn't have that many opportunities, but when I did, I was always a little intimidated and I was hoping that they would give me the information mm -hmm. um, and I would then use my imagination to try to emulate as much as possible something mm -hmm. that they asked for. I worked a lot with Twyla Tharp mm -hmm. um, and she was very specific on the movements that she wanted, uh, which I loved because it doesn't require as much brain just for me to memorize it um, and get it into my physicality. But uh, a couple of other times, yes, it was things that were created. Generally speaking, because of the short time frame that we have at an American Ballet Theater that we had in those days, it was always that you know the work would have to be done quickly, and so the choreographer came prepared. We would make mistakes that they would often say, "I like that, keep that mistake mm -hmm. in there," um, and I always liked that too because I kept making mistakes, so I, <laughs> I knew that that was one way of yeah. accomplishing the uh, the needed effect in the end. Mm. No, I think it's so different to explore a process, you know, to create something new, but also every time you dance an established role, you need you also need to recreate that role yes. for that moment. So And you can't really do it on the stage because sometimes what works in that moment, in that day, does not work another day. So I think that's why they say be present, because it's the most important thing as a dancer to actually really be there on that moment on that day. Uh, and use whatever is around you that either makes you nervous or uh, it makes you vulnerable. It's important to be right in the moment. I think that's my big takeaway from my career. I'm right there with you. Great tip We're for all of the now. viewers. Be in the moment. <laughs>
It was just okay. <laughs> Don't tell him. No, it was good. Um, not bad. Some of you still didn't count. I'm just going to blame it on the language barrier and Corona. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you blame it on Corona. No, um, I think it's important that you guys know where you are in the counts. I was too old before I realized that, that it matters. Yeah. Um, 408, I still think it's really good. I just think we can take the energy now to be more focused in the moves. Yeah. Uh, maybe some parts you're not sure about, not only him. I feel there are a few of you there are not some parts we're still not sure about. Yeah. Can we just go through it together once? Just to clarify. I cannot read your mind. I'm not a mind reader. If you don't talk and you just look at me and smile, I think everything's okay. I'm like, oh, it's great. Yeah. You raise your hand, even if you don't speak English. You raise your hand and you stop. And you can ask me. But now's your moment. Yeah? To learn. Tomorrow I'm not as nice as today. And the next day I'm even less nice. Yeah? So now's your chance to ask the questions. Yeah? Let's start with the beginning. Yes, 405. That's a good question. Is it? Yes. So show me. One, two. Yes. So you take a step. Yeah, you take a step, exactly. Show it one more time, a little bit slower, 404, everyone look. So he's here, and then he steps up with the shoulder, step with the leg, and then dive back in. Yes. Where he does it well is he completely folds his body to the front so we get that extra dive. Yeah, otherwise it can seem a bit small if you don't really, yes, if you don't really cross. Yeah. And then from there... Let me see where you are. Yeah, I wanted to say that. From here, I think go off. Yes. So then from there, you can hip the leg up. Yes, that works. OK, but let's go from the beginning. 401, question? Yes, 411. I think, I think it was 5, 6, 7, 8, 1. So I think it has to be five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Yeah, through movement. That's a very good question he asked. You go through the movement. Yes, one, two. From the beginning, six, seven, eight, and one. Up. Oh. How do we start? Everyone all together slow? Let me see. And are we like this? Are we like this? Are we like this? What are we doing here? Standing parallel? OK. Arms are down? OK. Now we're looking like a company. And then? So does the arm come and then to the shoulder? Who made this up? Ah, shoulders there. Yes. One more time. Down, down, and away. Yes. Ah, that helped you. Yes. You see, I knew some of you didn't know. No, 415, he went to the shoulder. He didn't go in between, yeah? So can I see it now? From the beginning, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Oh, you see, you're different. Can you show one more time? He's standing. And he goes down. Maybe we can slide the leg. Yes, thank you. Yes. So one more time. Five, six, seven, and an eight, and a one, two, three, four. No. So I think it has to go. This is um, one, one, mm -hmm. two. OK, just to make sure. Two. And three is this one, three, not three, you're late, three, look, four, yes, one more time, five, six, seven, and an eight, and a one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one more time, six, Seven, 
eight. And one, two, three, four. Come on, boys. Now I see what my ballet master was so mad about. Yeah? One, one, two, three, four. You're in between, in between. Yeah? One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four. Yes. And can I see five, six, seven, eight? Four. Wait, you're giving me Michael Jackson. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> give me a lunge. This is the pre, darling. Yes. Three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight. I like the way 406 does it. Yes. Yes, wow, 410, that was beautiful. Yeah, all of that. Yeah, that's it. Yes, I think it's a space hold on the head. So the head kind of stays where it is. Yeah, you have more flexibility there. And then how do you land? Five, six, seven, eight. Let me see eight. Drop those hips, yes. Eight, and then one, two. No, 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 that's a confusion, 415. I think from here, you open up to the side, yeah. Yes, because now you did some roundabout, yeah. So can we go back down? Eight, eight, and then one, two, three, four. Can this be more wild? Oh, I think it's amazing, actually. I think this is the first time in two years that so many of us have actually been able to see each other, see live classes, but I mean... Yes, it's just a joy, to be honest. One of the beauties of this Frida Lausanne and all the competitions yeah. we're used to attending during the year is that we get to meet up. And in these competitions, we speak to each other about technique and issues that mm. we're having, maybe relating to different kinds of students or problems in the ballet world or whatever there might be. Yeah. And we've all missed it, I think. Oh, yeah, completely. It's, it's wonderful to see dancers yeah. uh, and the directors from Australia and Japan. And I'm, I'm just loving being yeah. here again. Yeah, I know. It's a great to reconnect and find new sources of inspiration, <laughs> share ideas. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So the week ahead should be even more fun. Exactly. Mm. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Thank you. Yes, Paul. Hey, not bad. Um, hmm. No, I like the jump. I just feel like we do this too much, no? Every second we're here again. We need to cut some. I think we need to cut some of those. Can we go from um, here? What is this? Eight, six, seven, eight, and then it's one, two. Can we shift? Here, shift, two. Yes, shift, two, and then go three, four. I think I do like, I think I do like the dramatic reach. Yes, yes. Ah! Yeah, not like, ah. Ah. <laughs> I need more desperation. Yes. Everyone bring a wig tomorrow. <laughs> Gonna work our wigs. <laughs> okay, when you land, it has to be big. Yeah, because now it's a bit, some people do like this. When you land, make sure you're, you're in your biggest. Yes. Yes. And guys, we spoke about this last, last time in my interview with the pre, about the legs, right? So your legs aren't strong enough. That's why everything, 
you give up every time. I wonder if you can take that big position and hold on with your muscles. Uh, 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 no, too close. I don't want any of this. I want the strength. Yes. Use your muscles, your butt, your thighs. Yes, men. Yeah. I need that strength in the legs. You're letting go all the time. You never, yeah, you never have to use it. Look, ah, you should be double tour from here. Double tour. Yeah, exactly. This is strength. Come on. Don't just sit in your split. Yes. It should be sa, souk. Joaquin Cortez. Sa, ooh. How are the hands here? This is too much for me, even for the pre. Can we do something else? Who made this? What was it? Can we do something else? Okay. Ah, touche. <laughs> the same, but crossed. <laughs> yeah? Okay, I'll take that. I don't know, maybe it's worse. I don't know. No, it actually looks good. 406, everything looks good on you. That's the problem. Hmm. Yes. Come on, I'm trying to make the poster. Did they tell you? I want to make the poster. And this is my shot. Can I see? Yes, right there. Stay there, 415. Yeah, exactly. Good. I'm trying to make the poster. Every year I want to make the poster. Every year. Yes. Tell him, because he needs to know what I expect from you, okay? That poster shot. Yes. Yeah. Okay, from the top. With Paul. Uh, there was one more moment, actually. Ah, come on, use your technique, guys. Like, you know? Oh, my God. Use your technique. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yes. I think these are the most... This is the most impressive part for me, is what you do in between. Yeah, mm, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Somewhere good. What are you guys doing? Who made this? What, where are the arms? There? I don't know about that. No, not that. Um, can they come up and to go into, yes, that works, 411. Yes, yeah. And then you improvise, right? No, then it's this, uh, C, uh, ooh, right? That part was okay, we did that. When you improvise, it should come from where you are. So if you're here, don't go. Yeah, if you're here, then that's where it starts. Yeah, try not to surprise me. Oh, they're improvising. It shouldn't be like, okay. Yeah? Okay? From the top with Paul? Any questions? What time am I finished? 15? 10? How we went from 40 to 10? That went so fast. Okay. It's fine. Can we try? Last time all together, then I'll split you up. Do you have any questions? What's the meaning of life? Yes. Yes, yes. I think I like that. I think, is it here? Yeah, no, it's here. Yeah, it comes in, comes from the back to the front. Good question, though. You're from Japan? And you? Japan also. And you? Japan? Japan. Australia? Okay. <laughs> Curveball. 
It's okay, I'm from America, that's normal. We don't know where anyone's from. Can we try it again? You ready? No more questions? All right, let's go. <laughs> this person, it's not you. Whoever this person is, they get the worst because it's right in the corners. Five and a six and a seven and a eight and a one, two. Okay, whoa, that was kind of a mess. It's your fault. <laughs> we try it again. I think we need to do just the counts one time slow. Can we just do all the counts together one time slow? Take a breath. You have homework. Kathy said I can give you homework. So I give you homework every day. Yes, so the homework today is one, to look me up. Google. And come back scared. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Google me so you know who I am, where I'm from, why I am, am the way I am. I could talk to you, but it's just easy if you Google me and you say, ah, oh, he's from Brooklyn. So we're coming sort of towards the end. There's just a little bit less than 10 minutes. Um, and it's been interesting to discover the men of Group B in contemporary. I look forward to seeing their choices when they do their contemporary variations. Mm. Uh, we have the suppress. We have four gentlemen and the senior boys doing the the new creative oh, cool. uh, choreography. Mm -hmm. And we have one doing Unravel by Maya Smallwood. Great. One of the choreographers. So the uh, suppress was by Samuel Winkler. We will see that later in the week. Um, and then there's one, two, three, four other variations that they're choosing from for their category. So Great. it'll be exciting to watch. Yeah. Um, and see if they've incorporated any of this movement into that mm. uh, contemporary yeah. choreography of theirs. No, and I think what's so, what's so interesting about the pre is the jury watches all of the classes and the coaching. Yes. And of course the performance so they can really see, did they apply the corrections? Did they take the information on board? I think that's so important in a career. It is important, and I don't think uh, the dancers realize how much that we place credence on them adapting. Exactly. Because uh, that's what a director or a choreography wa choreographer wants. They want to see the result of what they're asking right there and then. Exactly. So this is important for them and uh, their futures. Yeah, and actually, just for the viewers who are watching, um, we're actually shortly going to have a one-hour break, Can we have three and then in 60 minutes we'll be back to actually meet the jury and right. see the ladies be in class with Elizabeth Platel. Yes. And then the men be in class with Yannick Bocan. Yes. We look forward to that. Uh, we'll be down in another studio. We won't be on this floor, and uh, we will have the 23 ladies from the senior ladies. Mm -hmm. uh, and these young men again Are you ready? at the end of the day. Exactly. So, on va faire bientôt une petite pause d'une heure. Et après, on verra le cours de classique avec Elisabeth Platel et les mêmes garçons qu'on voit ici avec Yannick Bocquin. Alors, un après-midi plein du classique. À bientôt. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, five, six, seven, and an eight, and a one, two, five, one. Five, six, seven, and one.
One. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a eight, and a one. 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 Here we go. One. Six, seven, and a eight, and a one. Go. One. All right, boys. I think the shocking thing is when you're in your classical class. <laughs>